Welcome to Thursday Thoughts. Uh, this week, a few things have happened. Um, let me start off with the Cape Verde Wing 4 World Tour. It was a pretty sick event. and was pretty stoked watching Cash, Cash's heat, where he got the 10, the 9.27, he freaking crushed it. It was um, super cool and got me excited to sort of wing with straps, which I haven't really been too excited about. So, winging with straps. Looks sick. Cash certainly made it look sick, and it's definitely growth um, of the sport and progression. Super cool. The uh, other things I wanted to talk about <clears throat> was the Sonova Downward Aviator. It's been out for a little bit, but I sort of did like a video on it this week, and just want to say how one how um, excited I am to sort of do a video on it and share it with everyone and share what I've been working on. But. <laughs> So my son's just running around. Um, but also how too much volume can actually work against you. Now, um, most boards around the 100 to 120 litres. We've got boards close to like 100, like up to 165 litres, I think the biggest one is. It's not meant for someone that's under 100 kilos. Realistically, 165 litre board. Um, it's an 8, 6 by 25. It's for someone, I've, it's for someone that's 100 kilos, really. Um, for me to use that sort of board, it's actually harder in messy conditions because of the, the, the corkiness. So too much corkiness is no good. Um, but like realistically, I think somewhere between 35 and 50% 50, 50 of your body weight is actually a pretty a pretty good number. Um, I'm using closer to 25 or 30%, but I'm not normal and I've spent a lot of time using lower volume stand-up paddle boards. Um, and I still fall off sometimes. I just sort of rely on not falling off in messy spots. So um, yeah. It's a good, important one to, to think of. And then the final thing I want to talk about was light wind slash no wind downwind races are uh, becoming a thing. There was um, some of the Hawaiian boys were going out in like what they call no winder and they were, you know, caught top it was fun and, you know, light conditions. Um, but we did a race, but all the beaches race was like, it was literally five to ten nights. It was windier earlier, but basically what I'm seeing is more people are able to do down winders in like residual wind bumps whether you like it or not i think it's going to become a thing and it's just going to be one of the things you can do it in you know no wind or you can do it in honking like 30 plus knot winds so it's making a really uh, exciting future for sports for the sport of downwind foiling and i think it's going to be good for basically good good for the sport because it means you don't have to have the perfect conditions to run a race it can happen no matter what and like obviously windier conditions are better but it can still be done in lighter stuff. So, um, yeah, that's my Thursday thoughts for this week. Thanks for tuning in.